Hello again to my wonderful partners. And I pray the Lord today will really bless you richly. I am going to finish today my teaching on the Holy Spirit and then a very exciting, very exciting announcement for me and for you. And I'll, I'll wait till you all come on. Again, from my heart, I want to say thank you for being my wonderful partner. All of you that follow me on Facebook and Periscope and YouTube and our homepage. God has given me the greatest partners in the world. And I pray today the Lord will bless you on this Sunday. And I pray you will have a fabulous week this week. I really mean that. And I want to pray with you right now that the Lord will bless you and anoint you today in a very special way. Let's just believe. Father, we come in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for your wonders, for your love and grace that you've shown to us. I pray that the blessed Holy Spirit today, Lord, will be our teacher. Manifest your blessed presence in our hearts and lives. Anoint us afresh, anoint us again in Jesus' name. And God's dear people said, Amen and Amen. I've been teaching on the Holy Spirit. And by the way, as you're coming on, welcome, welcome. Remember, at the end, I'll be ministering for about half half hour or so. And at the end, I want to share a very exciting announcement, a very exciting happening that will bless your life, I promise you. So stay with me. I've been talking about the Holy Spirit. To embrace Him is to embrace the Godhead. He is the first manifestation of God in Scripture. Remember that when Adam was created, as he opened his eyes, he was aware of the breath of God flowing through his being. For God had said, let us make men in our image and our likeness. And he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And as he opened his eyes and came to, the breath was still flowing through him. And the word ruach is continual breath. Continual breath. Think about the Holy Spirit being the continual breath of God. Unending breath. Are we doing okay there, Tim? Beautiful. Okay. Tim is behind the phones here. Uh, he was touching the phones. I was making sure everything is all right. All right. Well, the Lord is going to do some powerful things with us today. And I want to just make sure that everyone is listening really intently today to the word of the Lord that he has for us. Because God wants to use it to bless your life in a very special way. The Holy Spirit, the eternal breath of God, the first manifestation of God in Scripture. The Lord Jesus spoke of him often in the Scriptures because he is the author of the new birth. It's the Holy Spirit who is the author of the new birth. He's also the one who gives us the witness. Now remember, I've shared all this with you already earlier. He's the one who gives us the witness that we are his, that we are born again, that we belong to God. Think what your life and my life would be like if we did not have that witness. If we did not know that we belong to God Almighty. What our life would be like. It's the Holy Spirit who gives us that eternal knowledge that we belong to Jesus. When I would leave Catherine Kuma's meetings, the last thing she would always say, never forget to whom you belong. Because that's the greatest thing you can say, I belong to Jesus. I am His, He is mine. Now, I'd like you to go over my teachings already on the Holy Spirit, which I taught the last few days. And you can download our app, they're all there for you. Every one of them. Make sure to watch and rewatch and tell your friends about it. Now, I want to finish today this 
powerful teaching because it says in First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 through 13, that it's the Holy Spirit who reveals the deep things of God. When I discovered this amazing scripture, it changed my life for good because when I read it, I was amazed by these words. As it is written, verse 9, I have not seen nor ear hath heard. Now that I have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. Think about that only the Holy Spirit has revealed God's blessedness and plan in our lives and our future. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. The Holy Spirit is the one who reveals who God is to us believers. The deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, they, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know, and here's the key, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words of men's wisdom. No, but the words that God gives you and I, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. It's the Holy Spirit, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Holy Spirit, wonderful partner, who reveals all the hidden things of God to you and I. Ephesians 1, 17 declares the same and the Lord spoke of his work in our lives repeatedly it says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him it's the Holy Spirit who reveals the Lord you and I cannot find the Lord by reading books or even reading the Bible. We only discover Him by the Holy Spirit. The only way. It's the Holy Spirit who reveals the Lord to our hearts. And think that He does not reveal God to the angels. Because Ephesians 3.10 declares, to the intent now that unto the principalities and powers might be known by the church God's wisdom. So God is revealed only to His church. And everything the angels know about the Lord, they know by watching you and I, by the way he deals with us. So only the Holy Spirit can reveal the Lord to us. In Galatians 5.5, 5, it says that the Holy Spirit enables us to wait till we are free from corruption. Think about that. That is powerful. Galatians 5.5, 5, it is the Spirit of the Lord who delivers us for the Bible de declares we through the spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith it's the Holy Spirit it's the Holy Spirit who gives us that amazing patience it's the Holy Spirit who enables us to wait for our deliverance from corruption Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot wait to be delivered. And the Bible in Galatians 5.5 5 makes this very clear. Through the Spirit, we wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Think his, about His amazing strength. I've shared much about the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives with you the last few days. This is a powerful one. Only by the Spirit can we wait for the coming of the Lord? Only by the Spirit can we wait for deliverance from this body of corruption. Only by the Spirit can we even wait for our resurrection. Ephesians 2.18 says, Only the Spirit of God gives us access to the throne room. You cannot enter into God's presence without the Holy Spirit bringing you into God's presence. It's impossible, really. He gives us access into the throne room. Without the Holy Ghost, it's impossible to even find the Lord. 
How can I, dust, find God? That's impossible. It's not by might, it's not by power. It's but by, by my knowledge or intelligence or education I, I can find God. Only by the Spirit of God can I really find it. That's why we have to wait for the Holy Spirit. Remember, everything comes of God through Jesus, by the Spirit. I have to be in the Spirit to enter through the Son to God Almighty. I have to be in the Spirit to enter in. And that's the way it works. Everything you and I receive comes of God through the Son, in the Spirit. We have to be in the Spirit, which means oneness with Him, in union with Him, to then come through Christ Jesus to God the Father. It's that simple. My friend Tim has allowed comments to come on Periscope and some it looks like are being not too nice and it's blocking them. We should have blocked it altogether. Usually when I teach, I just block all comments on Periscope. Today we just didn't do it. Next time we will so you won't be distracted. Because uh, sadly not everyone loves the Lord, you know. Uh, it's the Holy Spirit who fellowships with us and gives us joy. Uh, Tim, keep Facebook on live. Uh, those on Periscope, shut Periscope now and restart it. I don't want to see those. Let me know when we're back on Periscope, please. All right. Well, thank God those on Facebook are still with us. So, okay. Thank you for joining me back. You on Periscope. Sorry about that. We 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 just had to put the comments off because he was blocking quite a few today uh, this is a holiday so people have nothing to do but to <laughs> to disrupt us anyways <laughs> let me go back talking about the Holy Spirit because that's what we need to talk about today it's the Holy Spirit number one who reveals God to us you and I cannot know the Lord without the Holy Ghost you cannot know the Lord by reading books you cannot know the Lord by watching TV. You cannot know the Lord by reading anything, frankly, even the Bible itself. The Lord is revealed by the Holy Spirit. The Bible is very clear on that. The deep things of God are revealed by the Holy Ghost. The deep things of God are only revealed by the Spirit. By the way, I'm, I'm feeling a lot freer now that we're not having comments. You, you're having to do this and me watching you do that, Tim, back, back there. You know, it's amazing. The, the, the enemy of the anointing is distraction. That's the enemy. That's why we don't need, want to ever, when I'm teaching, show these comments. Anyways, let's keep going. Thank you, Jesus. It's the Holy Spirit in Ephesians 1, 17, who gives us that deep revelation of who God is in our lives. And His revelation for our tomorrow and eternity. And in Galatians 5.5, 5, we wait for our adoption. We wait for our freedom. We wait for our transformation all by the Holy Spirit. It is impossible. It is impossible to, to be patient waiting for the coming of the Lord without the Holy Ghost. Impossible. You and I cannot wait for the coming of Christ without the Holy Ghost giving us that, that ability. Because it says the Spirit and the Bride say come. It's the Holy Spirit who enables us believers to wait. Giving us the strength to endure all trials and tribulations. Waiting, and that's what Paul said, wait for the coming of the Lord. Soon it will all be over. Soon your troubles will be over. Soon the trials of life will be over. Soon the Lord will return and reward you. But only the Holy Spirit can give you and I the strength to wait. Think about what I'm saying. How much we need Him. He's the one who, who brought us to the Lord. He's the one who sowed the Word in our hearts and we, we were born again. He's the one who gave us witness that we are God's children. And so much more I've shared already. And here, he is the one, Galatians 5.5, 5, who gives us the power to wait for the coming of the Lord and to wait for our deliverance from this corruption, this, this body. 
Imagine giving us the power to wait for our resurrection from the dead. Wow. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Ephesians 2.18. He's the one who gives us access into the throne room. Think about you and I cannot come into the presence of God without the Holy Spirit. That's impossible. Verse 18 says, For through Him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Remember what Romans 8.15 says in Galatians? That in, in, in Romans 8.15 we cry, Abba, Father, and in Galatians, he cries, Abba, Father. Here you have both crying, Abba, Father, this, the Spirit and the Bride, because it's the Holy Spirit who really prays through us. We simply make our bodies available, our vessels available for prayer. Waiting on the Holy Spirit to quicken our hearts to pray. None of us can really pray. Only the Holy Ghost can pray. Only the Holy Spirit can utter. 1 Corinthians 6 declares very clearly, He that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. When you and I are in prayer, it's the Holy Ghost who literally, with our spirit man, cries out, Abba, Father. I in them, they in me, that they may be made perfect in one. Our heart and his heart cry together, Abba, Father. Our heart and his heart cry together. Come, Lord Jesus. Mm, wow. And he's the one that gives us access to the throne room. We can't pray without him. We, can, we cannot find God without him. We cannot find the presence of the Lord without him. Today, I'm going to pray before I say bye to you, that you will have a new experience with the Holy Spirit. That Jesus will become so real in your life by the Holy Ghost, by the precious Holy Spirit. He fellowships with us and gives us joy in that fellowship. Philippians 2 verse 1. I'm telling you people, I'm feeling the anointing right now. I really am. I wasn't feeling it earlier when dear, dear Tim had to block all those bad comments. But the minute he blocked them, that anointing came on me. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? It's impossible for the anointing to work when we're being distracted by the world. Bless your name, Jesus. Philippians 2 verse 1. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit gives us joy because he said, Fulfill my joy by the fellowship of the Spirit in your life. We, he's the one who fellowships with us. He's the one who imparts joy to our lives. What does it say? In the presence of the Lord there is joy forevermore. In the presence of the Lord, there's liberty from sadness, oppression, depression. It's impossible to be depressed when the Holy Ghost is there. It's impossible not to be joyful when the Holy Ghost is there. Absolutely. When He's there, there's joy, unspeakable and full of glory. It's the Holy Spirit who helps us worship. It is impossible to worship without the Holy Spirit. Philippians 3, verse 3. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the Spirit. When Terry McCallman wrote that song that we are listening to, I believe the Holy Spirit gave him the words of this song that has touched so many of us. Listen. Why? Why do we feel the anointing when we hear it? Think about the millions and millions of people who have been blessed listening to this. As I am right now. It's the Holy Ghost, people. It's not Terry McKelman. It's not me. It's not us. 
The Spirit of God gives such worship. The Holy Spirit puts that in our hearts and we start to sing and worship. Born of the Spirit. Born of the Holy Ghost. Ephesians 3.3 3, We are the circumcision who worship God in the Spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Now that's something I, I've got to talk about just quick here. Oh, thank you Lord for your anointing right now. It's impossible for the Holy Spirit to be present and the flesh be active. When the Holy Spirit comes, the flesh is canceled. For he said, we worship, we are the circumcision which worship God in the Spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus, which is all by the Spirit, and have no confidence in the flesh. The flesh is canceled. The flesh is out of the way when the Holy Ghost shows up. Impossible for the flesh to stay active when the Spirit of God is there. And then it says in 1 Peter 1, 3, you and I can't even obey the Lord without Him. It's the Holy Spirit who gives us the power to obey. Think about how many times you and I wanted to obey the Lord and we something happened, we failed. Were they able to hear me? Okay. Sorry about that. The mic was out of Facebook, but I think you were able to hear me. Pardon? Only one. One what? Only one said they couldn't. Everybody else could hear. 1 Peter 1 verse 3. The Bible says this. Oh, wow. <sighs> you know, I'm going to tell you something. When the Holy Spirit comes into our lives, everything changes. And in verse 3 it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Now this is 1 Peter 1 verse 3. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives us that amazing ability, because it says in verse 2, elect according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus. And it's the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has given us this ability through the Spirit to obey Him. For Paul says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has begotten us to a lively hope. But it's the Holy Spirit, verse 2 says clearly, that gives us the power to obey, to live a life of obedience and a life of surrender. Without the Holy Ghost, impossible to live the Christian life. <laughs> I hope all of you on Facebook were able to hear me okay earlier. Uh, please just let us know by your comments that you did, will you? Uh, because dear Tim didn't realize the, the wire was disconnected, but it was coming through the microphone on the phone itself. So, ah, blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever. And God's people said, Amen. Well, I want to pray with you right now and I want you to look at the notes that I have shared and by the way by by the way um, I'm going to in the next few days God willing probably tomorrow or Tuesday I want to bring another teaching on the Holy Spirit 
that is on the nature of God's Spirit, the nature of God's Holy Spirit. I believe it's time we focus on the Holy Ghost more and more because the more we know Him, the more we know Jesus. The more we know Him, the more we can understand how to live in the Spirit and be victorious in our Christian walk. So be looking for my new teaching on the nature of God's Spirit, on the nature of the Holy Spirit. And uh, that's coming, by the way, God willing, tomorrow, if not tomorrow, Tuesday for sure. But be looking for it tomorrow. I think I'll be coming back tomorrow to minister on this. Father, I give you praise for your mercies. I give you praise for your power. Meet every need, Lord, in your people's lives today. Let the power of the Holy Spirit flow today, Lord, mightily. Bring healing, bring deliverance, bring restoration. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Touch, Lord, and heal. Touch and restore. Fill your people afresh with the Holy Ghost today. In the name of Jesus. And God's people said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Now, I want you to listen to me very carefully. I'm going to... You know, I love when I'm teaching sometimes to put the beautiful worship on as we have it. Oh, the blessed presence of the of the Lord enables us, I think, to the, the anointing of the Lord enables us to receive the word much quicker and much easier, you know. But I do have a very exciting announcement. I want to have your attention, all of you, for this, because I really believe this is something very of God, very much of the Spirit of God. Uh, I've been watching what's been happening in the church the last few years and especially recently where the Holy Spirit has become unknown in many circles and frankly unwanted. That's why I've been teaching about the Holy Spirit so much more than I have in the past because we need to get back to life in the Spirit so we can have victory. So the Lord spoke to me, said, I want you to begin a network online a 24 hours a day network. Thank you, Jesus. I'm calling it Atmosphere for Healing Network. Atmosphere for Healing is a name we've owned as a ministry for many years because we've had Atmosphere for Healing CDs and music. And I want to call it Atmosphere for Healing Television Network. 24 hours a day programming that is focused on the power of God, focused on the anointing, focused on miracles. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be having people on the network. And by the way, I will tell you in just a moment when it begins. I'm going to have people on with me who have different programs with powerful supernatural ministries. People like Ronald Bunky, people like my, my son-in-law Michael, who I talked to this morning, is very excited to be a part of it. Danny Kalanda, Nathan Morris, uh, Todd White, uh, uh, dear, oh my goodness, Pastor Chris in Nigeria, um, Pastor Tamarak in Ethiopia. These are people with powerful miracle ministries around the world and mighty Bible teachers. Think about being a part of a network that will be your network. It is your network. It's not mine. It's yours. It belongs to God's people. A network that is focused on the, on the power of the Holy Spirit. It's really the Holy Ghost Network, frankly. I wanted to call it Holy Spirit Network, but that name is already taken, so we can't use it. But it is the Holy Ghost. He is the atmosphere for healing, okay? He is the atmosphere for miracles. And it's going to be called the atmosphere for healing network hallelujah and we begin in december december is a great month for me that's when my ministry began back in 73 is when the lord moved and touched my life at catherine's meeting december of 74 i began preaching december has always been the month where god has done blessed things with my life 
and the Lord spoke and said, beginning December this year, 2016, Ken Copeland told me last December that 2016 will be my greatest. I didn't realize God would speak to me to start a network. Social media. This will be a network online. A network on our website. It's going to be on Facebook. It's going to be on social media platforms everywhere. And later we're going to we are going to put it on probably DirecTV and possibly on other, you know, uh, platforms. Because I want you to see the power of God daily. To be a part of the Holy Spirit's power daily in your life. Yes, there'll be teaching programs, healing programs, worship programs. But the focus is the Holy Ghost, the power of God. Because I do not want... You as our people, as our partners, to lack out there. Because today, many don't want to talk about the Holy Spirit. Many people do not even want to mention Him. One pastor got up recently and said to his people and his staff, he said, don't talk about the Holy Spirit because that offends people. Not me. I am going to talk about the Holy Ghost. I'm going to shout it from the housetops. Somebody please say hallelujah, will you? Yes, just shout it from the housetops. The message of the Holy Spirit must be told to the nations of the world. What kind of response am I getting on those comments? Hallelujah. Well, I'm not able to see your comments right now. I will afterwards. I promise I'll, I'll watch this whole thing again. But I'm, I'm, uh, I, I want you to, to send me emails right, right now. Pastor Benny at BennyHinn.org. Pastor Benny at BennyHinn.org. Let me know what you think of it, okay? Now, I want you to pray that the Lord will give us everything on time. Right now, we have begun to work on it. Now, this network begins in December, but I need you to participate. I need you to do something with me. We need right now to start it. We have to, to uh, uh, hire a company. We're, we're actually talking to a company, an outsourced company that will do all this for us. Because for this, we need to do it right. We cannot do this ourselves. We, we hire companies that know how to do this. Because you don't just start a network with your own staff. You, you, we, we have to hire professionals out there, outsource it to a company out there that do this for a living. We need to pay them right away $250,000 $250, to get the work beginning because they will not do a thing till we prepare for it. They told us that very clearly. We have to pay before they can start work. Because this network will be ready in December. This December. This coming December. That is, now we have September, October, November. Three months. December, we launch it. You're going to start watching it in December. There's a lot of work that has to go into it. The first thing we have to do is build the, the platform for it. The... the, the the, all it takes on the internet and the things that they do and only they know how to do because I don't even know how they do this. All I know is it, it's, it's going to cost 250 to get it started. And then once the platform or the foundation is built, then we start putting programming and, be, and building the content. For every one of you that will send me a gift to help me begin because we 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 have to to pay this company like in the next week or two this is like right now and they will not begin the work till we pay they, they're not going to start a thing till we give them the money that they have required before we even begin so uh i want to send you this ark for a gift of a hundred dollars only think about it just a hundred dollars if 2500 people if 2,500 of you will give $100, it's done. It's, we have the whole thing. $250,000, break it down in 2,500 people. I have a lot more, you know, watching on Facebook right now. Many of you watch me on social media all the time. Think about sending $100 only for a network that will be your network. It's not my network. It's your network. Ministering to you 24 hours a day. Oh, there's going to be a lot of things like, think about watching the, the God's power live 
we are going to we are going to show you our events live you'll be able to be a part of live networks right on your tv set around the world i'll be in africa think about if we had this network now think about being with me in nigeria in october or go or going with me to israel in november live i'll show you live the whole thing every day You'll be with me in different sites of the Holy Land Live. Because now with, with social media, it's so easy to do that. We just take our phones. In fact, in fact, in fact, they have a, they, there's a new camera now that is 4G. Tim, I just heard about this. They already have it out, guys. A camera, TV camera, where you can connect to Facebook and connect to Periscope on camera. We don't even have to use our, our phones anymore. And it's out, it's now, I can go buy it. Think about taking our camera with us, 4G. I think they say 4G is even better than HD or something. And, well, anyways, it's, it's 4G, incredible picture, where we can connect the camera to Facebook and connect the camera to our homepage and connect the camera to Periscope and YouTube and come live from Jerusalem, live from Galilee, live from Nigeria, live from Ghana. I'm going to be in all those countries. In January, I'm going to be in Ethiopia, in February in Brazil, in March in Ghana, in April in the Ukraine. Think about being able to be a part of those meetings with, with the right sound, <laughs> the right everything. And nobody coming with with whatever bad comments well anyways that's another story i want you to be blessed 24 hours a day to be a part of the worship with thousands of people we cannot do this properly now with the, with, with 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 these phones but those brand new cameras now that are now wired into facebook we can connect it to periscope and, and our social media that's the future let, let, let me tell you something tv as we know it is going to be totally changed and uh, they they say five years from now you will not be watching tv as you are now networks as we know them will be a thing of the past very quickly because people are not watching tv like they used to most of most of us and i'm doing it already i watch it more on my phone if i want to watch the news i just go on my phone well people are doing it all the time think ab about what's happening now with facebook I have 3 million, we have 3 million followers on Facebook. Who, th who thought about Facebook 10 years ago with those kinds of numbers? That's the future. I'm building the future. I want you to help me build the future. And I need you now to respond with a gift of $100 and you will receive, we have those in the warehouse, ready to go. Ready to go. The Ark of the Covenant with the priests carrying it. Look, look how lovely this is. Isn't that beautiful? I want to bring it a little closer so you can see it. The Ark of the Covenant, carried by the priests, for a gift of $100 only that you can send to the ministry online for the new network that starts in December. 2,500 people, and we have it made. That's it. Because the company that we are working with is a professional company that is ready to do the work they just want to be paid first before they start and of course we all understand that they want the money and then they're going to start building the the foundation building what it takes to get this network moving and then all we do is add content all we do is add the programming so will you please right now you can you can uh in fact, let me give you a phone number you can call starting tomorrow. Uh, or you know what? We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll have our staff put that number on later because many of you will re-watch it. But you can do it online right now. Just send your gift to benihin.org uh, or uh, you, you can do it online right now. That's easy. Just go to our website and do it. Do it on our app. And please put this is for the new network. You need to say that. This is for designated for the new network. This is for, it, it's called Atmosphere for Healing Network. That's all, simple. And you will get, and as soon as, as we receive your 
$100 gift, you'll receive this because we have those in the warehouse ready to go. So they'll be, they'll be sent to you right away for your gift of $100. And if the Lord speaks to you to give more for shipping and handling, please go ahead and add the shipping and, and handling. Shouldn't be more than, I don't know, 5 to $10, something like that. But for those that will send the 100 it's it'll, it'll, it'll be sent to you right away. And I want to pray with you that the Lord will bless you for it. You know, it's so, it, it's so exciting what God is doing because it's the future of television. It's the future of ministries. This is what God is doing worldwide right now is through the internet, through social media. I want to be in the front line. I don't want to do it when it's, you know, later on. This is the time for our ministry to do this and do it for you. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, bless every person right now, Lord, who steps out in faith and sows that seed of $100 for this brand new miracle Holy Spirit network. Lord, bless your people mightily in the name of Jesus. Reward them greatly for that seed sown in the name of Jesus. And God's people said, Amen and Amen. All right, you can do it online. That's all you have to do, benahim.org. You can sow your seed. And please put in there for the network, for the TV network. That's all you need to say. So it'll be designated for that only. And you'll receive your beautiful gift in the mail right away. Thank you for joining me today. Blessings to all of you. May the Lord bless you. Have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you again tomorrow. So love you much. And tomorrow I will come. I, I really feel I need to. I will come back tomorrow and teach on the nature of God's Holy Spirit and a whole lot more anointing. I'm telling you, it's be powerful tomorrow. Okay, God love you. Yay, to Jesus be the praise and God's people said, Amen. The future is brighter than the past and more glorious than our past. See you again. Bye-bye.